Yo, what is up y'all? Hope y'all are having a nice day. And in today's video, what I got for you guys is a very easy solo unlimited money glitch you guys can do right now in GTA 5 online to earn yourselves millions of dollars here in the game, all right? Now, if you guys do remember my last upload, I did show you guys the new multi-car duplication glitch here in the arena. Uh, this is essentially gonna be that glitch, but we are gonna be able to do it solo, all right? So I will show you how to do this. Uh, here in this video. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into it. We're gonna get into the requirements once again here Of course, you will need the car you are looking to duplicate stored here in your arena workshop level I do recommend the fully upgraded arena more is as it will earn you the most profit uh, And also we will need a bunch of elegies or fagios or something like that uh, Stored in the arena. All right, you can use the b1 and b2 garages as well uh, so go ahead and just store a bunch of free elegies here in your arena, and we will be duplicating over these elegies uh, and whatnot. All right, guys. Um, also, all right, we will need the Vapid minivan. You can buy from the Benny's stock. All right, the Benny's website. Go ahead and get yourself a Vapid minivan. It costs about 30 grand or so. Uh, then also store that here in your arena workshop level. All right, guys. Uh, now you also will need the Benny's mechanic here in your arena as well, because we will need to basically upgrade the minivan here all right so make sure you do have the mechanic i can't actually click on it here since i already own it but nonetheless make sure you do have the benny's mechanic here in the arena as well uh, another thing make sure you are using custom plates otherwise you will be uh creating dirty dupes all right uh, and you do not want to create dirty dupes all right guys so make sure you do have a custom plate here on your uh, vehicle that you are duplicating before we get started and I do recommend you guys have three to four different custom license plates you guys can use to swap in and out as well. But uh, with that being said, what we are going to do is jump into the Vapid minivan here. All right, we're going to pull it into the Arena Workshop. Once we have it here in the Arena Workshop, uh, we're going to go ahead and get ready to glitch out. All right, we're going to use the minivan to glitch out here. Once you are in here, you're going to hover over Upgrade. And once we're hovered over Upgrade, we're going to hit Pause, go to Online, and we're going to go down to Cruise. Now, there is going to be somebody in a crew for PlayStation and also somebody in a crew for Xbox. And apparently these two people are constantly in a mission menu, uh, allowing us to get the private alert that we need for this glitch. Uh, so very, very cool, guys. All right. Now, I will leave the crew's name and the um, person that you want to go ahead and click on. I will leave those down in a pinned comment below or in the description. So make sure you do check it out um, for both Xbox and PlayStation. All right. Now, since I am on PlayStation here, I do need to go to the leaderboard and click on the L Gamer uh, PS4 uh, crew here or whatnot. Uh, and we do need to go down to the um, Medallion or whatever this guy's name is. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I will leave the name and all that down in a pinned comment below for you guys. Uh, but we do need to ch uh, choose this guy here that is in this crew. And we're going to go ahead and click on Join Game. All right. Now, shout out to the ones that are in the crews here, uh, allowing us to get the private alert completely solo. But if at any time these guys are not in the mission menu or you're not getting the private alert from them anymore, what you guys want to do is you want to make sure you are in a public session, all right? Make sure you're in a public session and then pull in your map, uh, your vapid, sorry guys, minivan here. Uh, and then you're going to scroll down the list in the players list in the online tab and find somebody that it, you are able to join game on, all right? So just keep going down the player list until you find somebody that has join game. Go ahead and click on join game. Uh, and that is also the other way you can do it completely solo as well. All right. Now there is a little bit of a difference because if you are doing it with the public session way, you will need to sit on the uh, first alert for roughly five to ten minutes. All right. But uh, we're going to go ahead and use the crew member here that is sitting in the mission menu for us. Uh, big shout out to these guys again. But we are going to click on join game once we get the first alert asking are we sure we want to join what we're going to do is rapidly press X or A four to five times, da 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 da, just like that. All right, guys. Basically, what you want to do is accept this alert and essentially upgrade the minivan in the background before the private alert appears. All right, so rapidly hit X or A four to five times, uh, accept this alert, and then essentially upgrade the minivan here in the background. Uh, then you will get the private alert. All right, once you are on the private alert here, we're going to wait five to ten seconds. And then after 5 to 10 seconds, we are going to accept the private alert. All right, guys. Now, once we accept the private alert, we should come down from the clouds. And you should be in the minivan outside of the workshop if, if all went correct. All right. Uh, what should happen here is you should come down and the minivan should not be upgraded. If it is not upgraded, you are good to go. From there, you're going to make your way to your vehicle management, uh, the blue circle here. Once you guys are in the 
the vehicle management uh, we're gonna go ahead and swap a couple vehicles around all right as you can see I have my ISSI and my elegy what I'm gonna do is take an elegy and I'm going to swap it for the uh, ISSI here uh, and you will see once I swap here they don't actually swap visually but on the list here they do so it does now say that the ISSI is an elegy which of course as we can see it, it is not uh, so perfect all right guys if you ha if you have this going on you are good to go go ahead and back out of your vehicle management you're going to run and jump into the ISSI here all right once you jump in the ISSI you're gonna pull it into the mod shop by hitting the right d-pad option once you guys are in the mod shop, as you can see, I do have my custom plate on my ISSI before we actually start here, which is highly recommended. Otherwise, you guys will be creating dirty dupes. Uh, so just keep in mind, all right, just use custom plates here on the vehicle you're duplicating so you're not creating dirty dupes, all right, guys. Uh, and like I said before, I do recommend to have multiple custom plates, and I'll show you that here in a second. But once you do pull in the car you are looking to duplicate here, just scroll down to plates. We're going to go ahead and change the plate color, and then we're also going to change the custom plate. All right, that's why I do recommend to have uh, about three or four, maybe three or four different custom plates here. All right, uh, so we're going to change the color and then change the custom plate, and then we're going to exit the workshop. All right, now once we exit the workshop, that is one duplicate right there. Uh, it is not fully saved yet, but that is one duplicate, and I'll show you now. Uh, we're going to go back into the vehicle management. And once we're in here, as you see now, we do have two Future Shock ISSIs. Uh, one does still show as an allergy, but there is two Future Shock ISSIs here now on the list. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and rinse and repeat and continue. We're going to click on another allergy, and then we're going to swap it for the ISSI that we can actually see. Uh, so make sure you are swapping the allergies for the ISSI that you can actually see here. Uh, and then once you swap them and they don't actually swap, all right, go ahead and back out of the vehicle management and same exact thing just jump into the vehicle you're duplicating pull it into the mod shop uh, once you're in here you're going to change the uh, plate color and then also make sure you do swap to a different custom license plate all right and once you guys have done that you're going to exit the workshop again here uh, and that is now two duplicates all right we're going to head back to the vehicle management to rinse and repeat um, but as you can see here, i do have the three future shock issues now uh, so again, just select another allergy and then continue. Uh, I am going to skip forward here. All right, I'm not going to make you watch me duplicate every single one here, but I am going to skip forward. Uh, but again, just select an allergy and then go ahead and swap it for your ISSI. Uh, then continue. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and walk up to my vehicle management here now that I had skipped forward for you guys. And as you see here, uh, the whole list now is Future Shock ISSIs, basically the whole list here. Of course, we did not want to get rid of the minivan. We do want to hang on to that for later use if we do want to do the glitch again. But uh, as you can see, they are all showing as Future Shock ISSIs on the list. And if I go down to my B1 garage here, I did have some allergies down there. Uh, so I do have some ISSIs down there now as well. Uh, so very cool, guys. Uh, as of right now, as you can see, they are still showing as allergies here in the garage. Uh, so to save them and to complete the glitch here, what we need to do... Uh, what we're going to do first actually is just set our spawn location to the arena. That way we can just spawn down real quickly here uh, back into the arena. Uh, if you do just change your spawn location, I do suggest to change an outfit or something like that to create that game save. Uh, then we're just going to go to creator or we're going to swap sessions. All right, uh, I'm just going to go to creator myself here and we are going to find another session. All right, guys, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. Now, um, the glitch out method where we use the crew member there. Um, to glitch out now if for any reason you are not getting the private session alert or anything like that off of them uh, Like I said before go into a public session and you're gonna find somebody on the player list in a public session uh, That you can join the game on all right if you click on their name It should say join game if they're in a mission in that case you do want to wait five to ten minutes on the very first alert before you continue uh, That way you do make sure that they did back out of the mission or they completed the mission before you continue that way you get the unable to connect alert or whatnot all right and if you guys do not have custom plates and you're looking to do this duplication glitch i will leave a link down in the description below to my previous video go ahead and watch the last few minutes of that video and it will show you how to do this without custom plates all right guys uh that is going to do it for this one i highly appreciate you guys staying tuned in if you did enjoy the video please feel free to smash that like button and also feel free to subscribe and remember to turn on that bell if you would like to become a part of the noti fam here on the channel this has been your boy high guy and until next time i'm out Please.